general barbecue, general Huang barbecue on Western and Rosewood. And the reason why I'm holding up these two babies right here is, and I'm not saying I'm rich, because all I'm holding up is two $5 bills, right? You're thinking, what's he going to do with that? Well, for $9.99, you can eat all you want at General Huang's barbecue. So we're in the middle of a meal right now, and I introduced to you on the other video about all the food you can get. And last video, I think we left you with, you know, bulgogi grilling on the grill, right? And here they are. They're ready to go. Excellent. So I'm going to go ahead and serve it, it to my friend. To try it. Okay, so we're going to go ladies first. I know you want to eat it, but no we're going to go Olivia first. No so I'm going to go ahead and put it on your salad plate, because that's how you eat Korean barbecue. You eat it with your salad. It's not okay. like, you know, you eat your salad and then your meat. You just eat it together. So okay. I'm going to go ahead and give it to you. And so for Yvette here. It and smells good with it. Also for Steve. Let me see how it will taste well. Right. This is, it smells incredible, doesn't it? It does smell incredible. Yeah. So here we go. Johnny, take, take, take a look. Look at this. Isn't that perfect? That's how you cook Korean barbecue right here, right in there. There's no uh, you know, uncooked pieces. It's, I mean, the fire is great. So, it cooks perfectly. so what, what I like to do is usually go ahead and take my first bite without anything because I want to know okay. what it tastes like. I so I'm going to do that. that. And I you know, know what? I'm going to be real honest because you know what? Without honesty, what is there in the world, right? So all you on the internet, this is an honest critique of Korean barbecue right here at General Huang's. Here we go. Now, this is the second best barbecue I have. Second best. And you're thinking, oh, there's another better place. Only other place that I know that it is as good or better Where? is my wife's cooking. <laughs> and I have to say that. <laughs> no, okay. no, no, seriously, just yes. some good barbecue. Yes. And you know, you guys are thinking, that can't be the best. Usually, I don't like bulgogi as much as the other meat. And if you're Korean, you know what I'm talking about. There's all sorts of exotic cuts out there. This is like the beginning of it. It's like, you know, it's the entrance into Korean cuisine. But this is really good. It's really flavorful. It's not too, too salty. Mm -hmm. It's sweet enough. And it'll go good yeah. with, like, you know, this is like uh, pickled radish right here. And you know, you just cleanse your palate by, after you eat the meat and you just, nice. it cleans your palate right up. So, that's. I like, I like this kimchi actually. Right. Very, very good. Yeah, it looks great. I haven't tried it yet, but it looks great, yeah. So what is this, Pastor Chad? Because it looks kind of scary after. Oh yeah. This is spinach and it's blanched. That's why it's not as, uh, it's still very green, but it's blanched. And, and the white things you see over there, what does it look like? Tofu? Tofu, tofu. exactly. Oh, okay. Steve, very good. Tofu. It's cured tofu. And you guys, uh, mm. if you like Korean food, you have sundubu, which is like a real uh, creamy, uh, curdy uh, uh, tofu you put in soups. This is the same same thing, basically. Okay. It's real soft and it's mixed in. It gives it different texture. It also has a little bit of a nutty taste because it's coming out of soybean, right? So it's really good. All these things will help you cleanse your palate. So, you take a bite of it, you know, in between your meat, you know, it'll help you taste every cut of meat. Excellent. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to try it. Good. You guys are all doing so well with the it chopsticks. It actually tastes pretty good. Yeah. I yeah. like the taste. It has sesame seeds to it. Right, right. I love the taste. You guys are all being polite, but you can say it. This is an honest critique, so if something is not a little bit, you know, a little bit not too taste, you can say it. But everything I've tried so far is excellent. So this one I love how it looks because uh -huh. it looks so fresh. But yeah. so I like how it tastes. Well. well, do they have any beer here? Yeah, yeah, they do. Do. yeah, yeah. They do serve beer and okay. they do serve uh, right. uh, other Korean ethnic drinks like uh, soju and different stuff. I, you know, I don't drink it, but you know, you're most welcome okay. to drink it. So uh, yeah, we know faster that you don't drink. Yeah. So, so that's okay. Anyway, you know, whenever, whenever you're ready, we can okay, call for sure. it. The yeah. next meat that I wanted to grill, let me take the little char off the right. tongs right there so we don't taste the burnt stuff. All right, right there. Okay, the next meat we're gonna grill is uh, chicken, chicken bulgogi. Excellent. Right? It's a little bit different kind of marinade, but it's also sweet. Look at that sizzle coming out. It's excellent. I hope it's as good as the meat because I don't think it would be. Um, yeah, I mean, really yeah, it's different, but you know, you, don't, don't knock it until you try it. It might, it might actually right. be better. 
and I love it. And I know this is dark meat chicken, and some of you guys are um, more prone to getting white meat. But anything I grilled, the dark meat is better because it has more fat content, sure. and it makes it taste better. What the reason why I kind of left it off the, uh, the middle of the grill is closer, and I want to put it over the open the grill flame so that you can get uh, Got it. most flavor out of that. So I'm wondering. This is a little thicker, so it's going to take a little while to, to cook. So Is the flame okay? Yeah, the flame is actually it's really good. hot. Yeah, my thumb's getting really hot. But uh, it should be pretty quick. So. You oh, see that it's already, already seared and yeah. it's got the nice uh, grill mark going here. Wow. I put this on first, didn't I? Look at that. Look at that. That's a very nice experience. And Pastor, you were telling us that the grill gets uh, too uh, charcoaly or something like that, that they can change it, correct? Right, right. Okay. Well, I was going to talk about that. Actually, usually when I come to Korean barbecue, I like grooming the non marinated meat first. Because okay. what happens is the marinade uh, chars on the grill because it's, it has salt and it has sugar and the sugar obviously will leave, uh, will stain. Definitely. So, so you, I typically like to grill the uh, non-marinated meat first and that's what you should do usually. But we started on this one, but not to worry because even when it's charred like this, after we cook the marinated meat, what we're going to do is we're going to ask the server to come and change out the grill and it's incredible okay. how they'll come and they have this little thing, you know, and, and they'll they change out the whole grill. Yeah, exactly. So. After we're done with the chicken teriyaki or chicken bulgogi, we'll go ahead and cook the uh, fresh meat on a fresh grill. Okay. okay. So let me go ahead and work on this a little more because um, with chicken, and all of you guys know, uh, you have to cook it. Some people are worried about salmonella. Well, if somebody else is cooking it for you, right? If they do it in the kitchen, you know, they might not get it the way you want it, but That's you're right. cooking it here yourself. So you can check it and make sure it's cooked thoroughly. Yes. So that you won't get sick after it, because what fun is uh, that? You know, after I you agree. eat out, you get sick. I like, I like so. that with the first batch. Uh -huh. we right. It like we wanted it. Right, exactly. So I'm going to keep flipping out to it's done, and it's getting there. And while that's cooking, I wanted to go ahead and introduce a new dish for you. This is actually called keran jim. Keran is egg, and jim yes. means to, I guess, to, I don't know what to call it, jim, but the way it's cooked is. They go ahead and, and, and beat the eggs together and they add some seasoning to it. And this pot right here goes actually on the fire. Okay. It's a stone pot. Okay. What it does is, what's cool about the stone pot is after you take it off the fire, it still stays hot. So right now it's been out so I, I can touch it, but usually it's hot and it would continue to boil and continue to cook. So it's, uh, it's just an egg dish, egg, egg, dish. egg dish. So I want you to go ahead and try it while the meat's cooking. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in. And you can just scoop it out yeah, with your spoon okay. or, or whatever you want to do. And put it in our uh, plates here. Yeah, or Let's you can just put it directly into your mouth, you know. Oh, okay. Yeah. I think well, I can move it over a little bit. Well, no, the, the bottom piece is, uh, is, is plastic, so it'll be one bit. Here we go. I like that. Yeah, creamy as food. Okay, that's right. what you thought it was. Mm -hmm. All right, excellent. So that's One of the tips of grooming is also when the meat kind of gets done, you can go ahead and move it over to the corner right here and they stay warm yet it doesn't get charred. So that's a good tip right there. So I'm going to go ahead and try this piece. Yeah. Throw some salad on they there. They got garlic too. Do you mind if I put a piece of garlic no, on the grill? No, no. Uh, Steve, you must be Korean, oh, parts Korean. Really? Korean is oh, okay. Yeah. I didn't know that. Yeah. It's a natural instinct. Uh -huh. When the meat's so good, you just got to put something on it, so. Okay, again, we're here at www general barbecue or generalbbq.com. It's the website for General Huang's All-You-Can-Eat Korean Barbecue. And we've been enjoying the food, yeah, haven't we? Definitely so. And I wanted to, yes. before we get on with the non-marinated meat, I wanted to explain to you about all the side dishes, the panchan. One of the unique things you get is it's called puchinge. It's like a pancake, but it's not sweet. But it's actually made with fresh scallions and carrots, all julian together, and it's mixed up in a batter. And there's even a little jalapeno slice right in there. And it's incredible. So I'm gonna dig into it right after we get to grilling. But you get one of these, and not only that, there's like over 11 different kinds of side dishes you get. Yeah. Everybody gets a little, 
uh, uh, cabbage salad with the red cabbage, and I still have some chicken in there. And uh, it's marinated with soy sauce. It goes great with the meat. And of course, you can't leave out the fresh kimchi. Uh, anybody who's had Korean food knows what kimchi is, right? Yeah. Yeah. Fermented, you know, fermented cabbage. And you know, it, 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 it's a little kicky. Uh, it's a little kick to it, but it's really good. And also, this is a potato salad. And it's not unlike any other potato salad you had. This uh, tastes like mashed potato, sort of, right? The, the, it's creamy mashed potato mixed in with cucumbers and carrots and uh, different slices of fruit and stuff like that. And they give enough for everybody. So that's that. And the other side, this is kungnam I love this stuff. This is um, bean sprout. It's been blanched a little bit and, and it's seasoned and, and it's great. It's, it's not really hot. So if some of you who are not Korean and not used to eating hot things, that's a great side dish to go to to cleanse your palate. Of course, not every place has it, but this is a, a pickled radish. You know those big radish, sometimes you see yellow ones, but it's pickled radish, so it's sweet and sour and it's really refreshing. So that's a great side dish. Now this one I love. This is uh, udeng muchi. Udeng is actually um, fish cake, and you go, fish cake, that sounds fishy, right? Fish cake. But it's not at all. It's ground up fish and then it's uh, formed together and then you put some chili and and uh, a little pepper in there and you uh, you just kind of bring it all together and it's excellent. Uh, I, I eat this at home all the time. I love this. And also this is different kind of kimchi. Um, this is called, it's not actually kimchi, it's called oi muchim because the difference between kimchi and muchim is this. Kimchi is fermented. You let it sit and let nature do its work and it becomes kind of a little sour and tasty. Okay. With the muchim, you use a lot of the same ingredients, a lot of chili, a lot of garlic, but you don't ferment it, it's fresh. So it won't have that uh, sour taste from the fermentation, but it'll have that fresh taste from uh, from the vegetables that's not wilted yet. So that's I love that one. one yeah. best. Look, that almost one gone. Right, over awesome. there, it's all gone on, on my side. Awesome. I've been busy talking, so I haven't been eating. But yeah. <laughs> That. And also, I'm sure you've been looking at the video and go, what's that? He didn't talk about that. Well, I'm going to. Well, you see this little thing here. It's a, so it's, it's, it's a sauce uh, a combination of sesame oil, uh, ground, uh, coarse ground uh, salt, and also very coarse uh, black pepper. And uh, yeah, it smells real nutty. Because the sesame oil is very fragrant, right? So. So that's a sauce for the non-marinated meat because Excellent. the bulgogi and the chicken had all the soy sauce and sweetness in it. What, what we're about to grill, brisket and pork belly, it's not marinated. So that's the sauce you're gonna use. After we grill it, you dip it in that. And also the other sauce is uh, soy sauce, vinegar, and it has slices of uh, onion and also a slice of jalapeno. Gives it a little kick and it makes the meat so good. So what we're gonna do now, since we got a new grill, remember last time uh, yes. we had a grill and it was kind of charred because yes. of all the, the grilling we had done? Yes. So we asked them and they came and they changed it right, right away. away. Yes. So we're gonna go ahead and put some uh, brisket and some pork belly on it. Excellent. See, see how it is? Now, that's the sizzle you want. Ooh, the side. So, you know, some people put it on, like, you know, just throw it on there. I like to put it on one by one so that I know that I'm not just uh, bunching different pieces yeah, yeah. together. And uh, what's awesome about Korean barbecue also, Steve, is this. They cut it for you. It's in by pieces, so you don't need a knife or, or you don't need anything else. You can just go ahead and uh, just pick it up and eat Put it, it in basically. There. So this is fire is really hot now, so. You don't waste time, basically. Yeah. So this is gonna really, really start cooking up real fast. So, okay. Yeah, we, maybe we can lower the fire a little bit. But, see, this is already getting done even as I put the meat down, so I'm going to go ahead and uh, back flip it around. There we go. There it is. It's already going. So, and, and beef, unlike uh, chicken, it can be a little, little underdone, right? Yeah. Oh, yeah, and underdone. Right, right. Yeah. So, you know, we rare steaks all the time, so, you know, you don't have to worry. But still, you want to make sure that it's cooked a little bit wow. so you can get the flavor out of it. You see that finally? That, that's, that's coming from the fat content of the meat. Or it won't, it won't make that kind of fire. Woo! And you can smell the flavor. Uh -huh. Absolutely. Absolutely. You're going to move it off to the side a little bit so that it doesn't burn up too much. Wow, for this to be number two.
two on your list. Yeah. That means this is an awesome place knowing you. Yeah, this is actually a really, really good place to be right here. So that's the beef and that's the... The pork. So we're going to go ahead and try the beef first and then we'll eat the pork. And if you haven't had fresh bacon, you're in for a treat because it's always good. So I'm going to go ahead and put it all on. And some of these guys are getting there, so as soon as they get there, we'll pull it off and we'll dip it in that sesame sauce and yeah. sesame oil sauce and yeah. we'll go at it. cooking up well in the grill. So what you do is, I'm not going to serve it, so you're gonna, you okay, guys are going to have to no pick problem. it up now. Be Korean okay. now, huh? No problem. All right. So you pick it up, and look at that. All the fat marbling in there, and smoke rising out of it, a lot of steam. So what you do is, um, there are two types of sauce that we explained, the sesame oil, the, the salt, and the pepper, and also uh, soy sauce, vinegar, and also slices of onion and uh, jalapeno in there. So what I like to do is to dip it in the sauce and don't, you know, get too much salt on it. And then dip it into the other sauce and just... See it. Excellent. Excellent. So you can actually dip it in both? Mm -hmm. Okay. Actually, that's uh, what you should do, I think. Okay. Yeah. So There's more right here. Woo! Look at that fire one. Really that's like the that. fat. Wow. Oh, that's Isn't good. good. This will be really interesting. Wow. Once you get into Korean barbecue, uh, you'll, you'll begin to see the non-marinated meat might be something that you're more drawn yeah. to. Definitely. Here's some more. Really. I want to get it to you. Thank you. Let me get you some more. Try it, Pastor. No, I'm, I'm already out. Okay. I didn't know. Okay. Thank you. Is that good for you? Thanks. 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 So awesome. I'm going to have some as well. Mm. 